Assalamualaikum, uh, home and abroad, uh, all the participants. To I hope that oil and good. I am also uh, uh, oil Almighty Creator Allah. So we can start at uh, 2022 and 2023 nomination process. How to we can very easily we can uh, submit our uh, process. Today uh, we have uh, a great seminar and present here uh, two international uh, trainer from Omiya Ismail from Egypt and Lee, Dr. Lee Siu from Malaysia. Me, Mr. Muhammad Nazmul Haq and Mr. Salam to uh, organize and cooperating this webinar. So we can uh, start at our uh, session. Uh, at first, uh, we can do our uh, uh, presentation about. Nagul sir, please share your share your presentation. Okay, I can share my screen to our today uh, trainer. I introduce my trainer. Can you see my screen, sir? Yes, okay, sir. Everything okay. Continue. Okay, okay. I can uh, the first slide. I can click to my first slide. All the participants to uh, present uh, the my area has no electricity. I uh, join with the other uh, my home district. I will also go to my home district. Please wait some moment. Mm, our uh, are you see? Are you see my screen? Yes, sir. Yes. yes, we can see. Yes, I, I see your screen. Please, uh, you close uh, Bjoy keyboard. Uh, I can see for the my first slide. Okay. Thank you everyone to join. Welcome to the virtual video on nomination process of MI Expert 2022 and 23 organized by World Educator Community. Just wait because uh, the processing is not very good. So, the virtual PD or nomination process of MI Expert 2022 and 2023. 2023. Here, uh, the session trainer, Omiya Ismail, MI Holu, and trainer, Edu Track Specialist at and Global International School from Egypt and trainer Dr. Lee Siu I am class point certified trainer MI expert and MI master trainer from Malaysia and moderator Mr. Abdul Salam WEC global organizer MI expert and MI master trainer Itaburi Mohila Ali Madrasha from Bangladesh and me also Mr. Nazmul Haq, WE facilitator, MI expert and MI master trainer, Chilakara Rashidia, girls, Dakil Madrasa from Bangladesh. So we, let, we can start at our next slide. We can click training. You can see that in the uh, start, training schedule. Trainers and topics, Dr. Lee Shi, class choir, certified trainer, MI expert, master trainer, Malaysia. Beginning guide of for MI expert, Microsoft email, Microsoft learn account and others. Omiya Ismail, MI follow and trainer, edu teach specialist from Easy. She also MI expert, nomination product producer, uh, 
uh, we can how to we can uh, my uh, uh, Microsoft learn Microsoft training tracker and that a total in, in very important part of MIE expert uh, tip part phase one phase two and phase three uh, next slide uh, we are uh, two presenter Mr. Abdul Salam and me Nazmul Haq uh, Mr. Nazmul Haq from Kishore Gons district uh, my school name Chilakara Gals Dakil Madrasha and uh, Mr. Salam uh, from Bangladesh uh, his his school name Itapuri Mohila Ali Madrasha she, he is very active and energetic person uh, from Bangladesh and around the world actively uh, we are very grateful to organize this program the next slide we can start to our guest speaker, she is very, very active, and uh, Dr. Lee Siu, uh, class point uh, certified trainer, MA expert. She also take part uh, around the world, many project, uh, green, uh, greenhouse effect, and green uh, others activities. She is very, uh, he, she, even his. Uh, her student take part the world community. Uh, next slide. Uh, guest speaker Amir Ismail, MA expert and trainer, edu tech specialist, and uh, Manchuara College International School from Egypt. They are very active. Uh, all the participants. Uh, they uh, take part in this session. We hope that it is a very enjoyable and our seminar will be very good. Thank you everyone to uh, uh, take part with our session. I hope uh, now I can uh, speak Mr. Abdul Salam uh, something and then our uh, guest speaker uh, to take his Presentation. Thank you. Are you hearing me, Mr. Abdul Salam? Yes. Yes, sir. I can hear you. Uh, thank you for your honorable presentation about this virtual video on nomination process of MI expert. We are glad to organize this webinar uh, from Bangladesh and also the world community. So, I'm really happy to join with you, all the educators who are supporting us. Uh, now, I would like to request our first speaker, Dr. Lisa M. from Malaysia, to share your presentation. Thank you. Ma'am, please share your screen, please. Mute yourself, ma'am, mute yourself. Uh, mute yourself. Okay. Thank you, moderator. Good evening, good afternoon for the educators from all over the world, Bangladesh, Malaysia, and I, I, I don't know from every country. Uh, I would love to see everybody here. So before I start, I would like to deliver my, my sincere thanks to the uh, the World Educate, Educators Community, especially uh, Mr. Abu Salam and also Mr. Nasrul Mahat uh, for inviting me to share my knowledge about the MIEE Experts uh, uh, nomination for the 2022 and 23. Okay, i um, very happy also to see our guest speaker. I, I know her, she, she is really, really very good and, and she share a lot of the, the session about MIE and others. Uh, digital applications okay uh, nice to meet you and uh, all the ed educators right okay before that allow me to share my screen ok 
Okay, so uh, here I'm going to use my record, uh, you record to do my presentations. So at the same time, actually, I would like to share to educators um, one of the activity that you can put in into the uh, nomination for the MI expert. You can put in the record also to explain how you use a record in your classroom, right? Okay, so first of all, okay, this is my record. Okay. Uh, and then uh, this is me and also actually I'm also a MIE master trainer. So in my sharing here, I will talk a little bit about, I will share you with the record and then the fit, fit grip and also Microsoft Teams. Okay, so first of all, um, so I'm sure that everyone here, your aim is to become the MIE and also to become the MIE MIEE, -E, yeah, the MIE expert. So first of all, I would like to share with you what is the meaning, what is the, the Microsoft uh, Innovative Educator. So this is the, the one that I pick up from the Microsoft portal. So the Microsoft Innovative Educator short form is we call it as a MIE. So this I'm sure that quite many of you already become the MIE, but maybe part of you still not joining the MIE. So this is the platform for you before you want, you can be uh, selected as the MIEE, you should join, you must join the MIE first. Okay, so this is the first step on your journey, yeah, to joining the professional learning network. So this is the one. So share and requirement is, first you need to create a Microsoft Learn profile and then complete two educator professional development uh, program uh, modules. Next, okay, what is about the MIE program? So these are the MIE program. It's actually a program organized yeah, between the global educators who are using the technology. So meaning that you must use technology or the digital in the way that for their peers, to, for the better learning and their student outcome as well. So these are the um, uh, very good uh, programs that it can help both educators uh, who are just beginning the journey as well as the program or educators who are leaders in the educators innovative education. OK, so now next one is the MIEE. -E. So the short form, we always say MIEE. -E. So the MIEE -E is actually Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert. OK, or maybe some will say MIEE Expert. This is a batch. OK, the batch for the MIEE Expert. So maybe you are wondering, so if you are new one, the new MIE, you want to become the MIE, you must know how to earn or how to uh, complete this journey so that you can award it as an MIE expert. So as you become the skill at the integrating technology in your classroom, or maybe uh, you are not the teacher, but you are the educators, the officers, educators, you also can apply for this, right? But uh, MIE expert is normally for the teachers. Okay, you can... Um, uh, so to get this MIE, you at least must complete yeah, complete two modules trainings. Uh, on now it's called Microsoft Learn. Okay, last time it's MEC, now it's Microsoft Learn. Or is, beside complete these two modules, you also can uh, through the instructional lead cost by the redeeming uh, redeem yeah redeem the achievement code. Okay, later I, because I'm the MIE uh, Microsoft uh, trainer, so I will give you the code to redeem, right? So I can help you to get the marks. Okay, beside that, you must complete the self nom uh, no nomination form, yeah, to nominate yourselves. Okay, so this one is the date is started from the 15 May and the last day is 5 July, but uh, you can go for the second window also, which is the November to 15 lah. Yeah, but they say, uh, note that the US, yeah, US will not accept donation during the second window. Okay, so this is about what is MIE expert. Okay, so uh, here I would like to share a little bit about the MIEE program. Okay, so might be you you uh, don't like to read so many texts, so I'm going to put here the two graphics so that you can understand. So the first graphic tell us means that if you are an educator, okay, this educator means it can be the classroom teacher or a school leader or a professional learning specialist trainer, okay, you are eligible to apply this MIE program. And if you would like to connect with the global, the professional learning community of other educators, yeah, who are constantly uh, purchasing or purchasing 
the classroom and then feel uh, good. You, they will like there. The Microsoft will like to love you to be the part of the MIE uh, experts community. So you can see here that two keyword is the educator and global. OK, we have the community like for example here now we have we are the community, right? OK, next. So about the program, OK, so the Microsoft is the one that uh, organized this program. So this is the uh, the community for the passionate, very passionate educators who are constantly learning or growing your, their work here. Yeah? To the aim is to change the student to live and build a better world. So this is our goal, right? So and then the MIEE uh, expert program is actually the primary program to create to recognize the global educator and uh, like yourself. Okay. So then next year, so Microsoft are looking for the people that who are driven, the educators, the passionate. So this is the thing. And then uh, they share, okay? When you have become the NIE expert or you, you are the MIE, you can share your learning with your college, with your other educators, local or maybe international. You can share about your, maybe about your school system, how you organize your school system by using the Microsoft digital tools and the apps. OK, so these are the things that they, they, they have. And then, of course, we have to uh, use uh, to achieve here. Yeah? Why we want to use all this? Because we want to achieve the excellent education by using the Microsoft technology with our innovative teaching practices. OK, so here are the how how you can join this program. So there are three ways, three things that you need to remember. OK, so number one is how to join the program so you can see this flow num okay nominate be uh, be sure that you join the microsoft learn okay and then you must create your profile i think later our our guest speaker the second speaker will tell you more detail right i just tell you the brief one, the journey okay so and then you need okay you need to download your transcript for example you already joined the mac or my the microsoft learn you have a lot of uh, you already join or you take took a lot of courses so you need to download your transcript right transcript and then you put a url so that uh the the microsoft people can assess your country uh, microsoft officer can assess your your profile your transcript here and then find so you can find a transcript going to your profile in the learn okay so this is the learn microsoft learn okay you can type you can just type Microsoft Learn, then you can go to this page. OK, so I'm not going to talk very detail. You can find out this one later. OK, number two. Second is how to join this program. Number two, ensure that you have successfully completed modules on the Microsoft Learn. OK, make sure you must have this. OK, if not, you cannot apply. Then the next one is alternatively, you have attend at least equivalent of two modules, yeah? two modules, either you develop or develop from the Microsoft or maybe you join the MIE trainer and then you can redeem the provided codes, right? Okay, later I'll give you the codes. OK, number three, number three is ensure that uh, two modules. OK, done the same one. Sorry, this is the same one. OK, so now this is the code. OK, so can you jot down this code? Uh, maybe moderator also can help to put in the chat box. Yeah? This, this is the code. So later you can, can uh, redeem this code. So why I give you this code is here, like for example, yeah? for example, you uh, this code is to uh, give you for the using of the, the Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge is very good. You can serve, you can get any anything from here. For example, OK, so this is the, the Microsoft uh, for the MIEE program you can get from here. OK, and then uh, OK here later, I think our second speaker will talk much about this. OK, you can just type Microsoft Learn and then got this link. You just click here and then you will bring you to the page. And then if you haven't, uh, you can tell your friend OK to sign in or uh, by right before the first May, you should transfer uh, you can uh, transfer your MEC to the uh, Microsoft Learn. OK, this is a Microsoft Edge. So I'll go back to my uh, here. OK, next. So OK, for example, like last year, I will show you when uh, this is the recognition. Yeah? For me, this is a recognition or of uh, for an educator who were passionate using the technology, for example, like me. Uh, so when uh, 
August. I think about the August still and now. So this is a batch for 2021 to 2022. So this is the first page. And you see here, uh, it actually have 568 pages. So this file is showing all the MIE expert from the all all the worlds. Okay, for example, from Malaysia, actually many. I just cropped the one that with my name so that I can show you. So this is my name here. Okay, can you see here the first row? So you are actually very proud of yourself. Okay, the Microsoft recognize you and publish your name to the whole world. Okay, so my my name is in the page 221. 31. Okay, next. So this is the the reason one, the 2023 uh, two. Okay, wait, uh, then I'll go here. Okay, so and then here you must know the difference different uh, between what's the meaning of educator and the learner here. Learner is not meaning that it's our student. Okay, later you find out. So the educator is referred to the classroom teacher, school leader, professional learning specialist, instructional assistant, trainer, or anyone who's supporting teaching and learning and wants to grow their skill. So this is called educator for, for Microsoft. Lah, yeah? Okay, and then the learner. What is the meaning of learner? Learner is not meaning that the student in our school. For example, okay, example, uh, adults that you are training. So now, for example, you're attending my class, so you become my learner, right? Okay, and then students in the classroom, colleagues is also, when you train your colleagues, the colleague is become the trainer, the learner also. Okay, so this is the meaning of the educator and learner. Okay, so and then uh, for if you want to start to nominate yourself for this uh, 2023, so you can go to the page just now when I show you here. Uh, go to here, you can scroll down. Okay, scroll down and read here. You, you have to download, yeah, download the file. So uh, be careful the, the date. Eh? Page one is um, 15 to last date is 7 July. Make sure you don't over this date. And then uh, submission is closed and then uh, during the August, they will they will announce, right? Okay. So the notice. Uh, so this is the all the details. Uh, I'm not going to touch this very detail. So uh, later our second speaker will, will, will share with you. So I'll move on. Okay. Next. So remember, just now uh, in the first page, I say that I'm going to show you. Uh, uh, beside you have you have to fill in the form. So here today, I would like to share with you. Uh, how you can use uh, the technology, digital technology of Microsoft in your classroom. Let's say if you were, I assume that now today is all the teachers, right? So you, um, for example, you can use the Microsoft Teams. Okay, Microsoft Teams is also one of the application that can bring you a lot of uh, credit for you to apply the MIEE. For example, you can see here, if you're using the Microsoft Teams, okay, for your classroom, you see you can have the class notebook in the class notebook itself also you can do a lot of things and then you can give assignment here you can grade them you can see their insight okay and then they got channel you can set the channel maybe you can set to by the chapter or by by any group or whatever beside that okay you also can send message and then you can do activity assignment and then you can do the breakout room so all this activity once you do the activity you make sure that you document it you take photo and then you you write some uh, writing uh, caption then you can attach as your application as well okay so this is one of the application that i would like to share with you just now uh, the wakelet uh, i'm using wakelet wakelet also you can put in actually so it's actually because you want to your student become 21st century student 21st century learner so that uh, you can use the wakelet also for your documentation and for the students to share the the outcome right Okay, next one. Uh, hey, where is my? Uh, I think I need to go to the flip grid. Uh, I missed one page. Okay, so then I might I go to this here. Uh, okay, flip grid. So this is a flip grid. Okay, just now I share you the the Microsoft team. The second one is a flip grid. Flip grid is also one of the technology or digital tools from the Microsoft itself. So you can use this one to maybe get the student voice or maybe if you are English teacher, you can use this one for student to uh, tell the I think that's all for me. OK, so I will recap back here just now. What I share here is uh, this is my email. If you have any any question, you can email me. 
So I would like to. OK, later I will share this to you. I think my this one hanging. Ma'am, have finished? Yeah, finish. Thank you so much. We have. So how to very easily we can uh, MI X part, nomination, nomination part, and we are also how to take part, how to qualification, what is the um, uh, aim of MIX part, and how we can very easily we can uh, which category, which qualification we need. Uh, you, you can show very quickly and very easily. I hope that all the participants are very happy to your uh, session. Now I can start, uh, I can request our another speaker from Egypt, Omiya Ismail, is very active and international school award teacher. I am. Hello. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, I forgot just now. I'm going to show you the Microsoft Learn. Okay, for example. Learn. Okay, my, okay, okay. Yeah, this is my my profile. If you have it, this one you can you can see how many batch and and uh, how many uh, trophy you have, have have it. Okay. Okay, that's all. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Now I can. Uh, Request started our another special uh, session trainer, Omiya Ismail from Egypt. Egypt is the, uh, not only uh, uh, far country, but it is very ancient country. Many prophet and many cultural uh, revolution from Egypt. So we can uh, know about a letter. A letter. Uh, now we can learn. Microsoft MI expert from our trainer. I am hard, uh, hardly request to uh, share her experience, and we are very uh, to happy join this program. Thank you, ma'am. Start, please. Hi. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you for your invitation. Uh, thank you, Dr. Lee, for your great presentation. I really like it. And I'm one of the big fan of you. Thank you. Uh, now I'm going to share my screen and um, I'd like to send you here in, uh, in the chat the resources that I'm going to use it here. Or we don't have a chat here in this uh, team. The chat is not activated. Yeah. Okay, okay ma'am. Actually, you can, you can mail me so that I will invite them who are registered with us. And I can do it. Okay. Okay. For technical issue. Uh, as uh, Dr. Lee have explained for you, this year we are having two different ways for nominating yourself. So I'm going to ask you a question at the beginning. Have you nominated yourself last year or this is the first time for you? You can raise your hand. If you are it's an MIT it, it, expert. It, 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 is, it is first time year. for me. Yeah, it, so. is, it is first time for me. OK. So if it's your first time, please raise your hand. OK, so I'm having here four people. OK. Is their first time for them? OK, if it's your first time, so or you have been an MIE expert, 2019 or 2020 and you didn't do it yourself for the last year. So you have to follow these steps with me. 
uh, in this way that I'm going to share it with you before. Uh, I'm sorry, after the session, you will find lots of resources. So all you have to do for the first time is to click here. You will find the link. Sorry. To register. Uh, Dr. Lee explained to you right now. For the first time, you have to have a create an account on Microsoft Learn. You should have an account here. You sign in with a Microsoft account and you start to have two modules or to take two courses here on this website. After you finish them, you go to your profile and click on the word profile to download your transcript. You will find it here. Here are the number of badges that you have, number of trophies, your repetitions, and the number is here, the number of points of experience points that you take them after you finish each part of a course. You get experience points here. You'll find here on the left down here, Transcript, click on it. And here is the transcript of all the courses that you have taken. The all, you'll find it here. To download it, click on print. And now you will get a PDF of all your uh, achievements or all the courses you have taken on Microsoft Learn and save it on your laptop. Yeah. This is the website. Excuse me, I don't understand. Actually, please continue. Uh, someone unmute has them, so. Okay, uh, this is the page for the nomination. It's called Microsoft Event Core. For the first time, you will have to register or sign in. And here are all the informations that you needed for your nominations. You'll find it all of here. And even you can find a, a word. This word document has all the questions that you have to prepare before nominating yourself. So you can print it and start writing your answers. Let's go on back to your nominations. For the first time, click, or even if you're having an account on it, click here on register now or sign in. And choose the best way to log in or sign in for your account. Step number two, you will have to fill in a contact or to type your first name, last name, your personal email and your school email. And in this step, you have to choose if Microsoft wants to send you an email, will uh, Microsoft choose your personal one or the school email? So choose one from here. Next, you'll have to fill in information about your school, your, the name of your school. Your school is part of the Ministry of Education or it's a private one. Write it here. Write your job title and the website of your school here. If your school doesn't have a website, maybe it's a Facebook link for your school or any LinkedIn or any other things. Your current role as a school. Are you responsible for teaching students? Are you a STEM teacher? Are you developing curriculum? Are you education trainer? So choose the best way here. And the, here you'll have to type the ad school address and the city where the school is in and your country and the last thing, the zip code. 
Here is an important thing. If you would like to get uh, a marketing emails from Microsoft, check any of these boxes. It's optional, so you can do it or not. The things that you have to do it is to click save and submit to save all your data, or you will have to do all the process again and fill in all of them again. Let's go to step number three. Here you will find uh, something is called self nomination hub. You can click on it or you can find it under the name of your accounts and new self nomination. Click on it here. You have two types of nomination. You will choose the first one, Microsoft Innovative Education Experts and click on save and submit. Step four. When you click on the self nomination, you will get a confirmation of all the data that you have filled in before your uh, contact, your um, personal information and your school information. So it's only a check. If all the data is OK with you, click on save and submit. Next, this is the first step in filling your self nomination. The first question here is your school part of the showcase program or not? If it's not, neither, so you will click on neither. If it's a showcase, choose it here. It's incubator, choose it here. Or if it's not, just choose neither of them. And here is the number, uh, the average uh, age of your students that you are responsible for teaching if you are not a teacher and responsible for uh, professional development or a trainer choose the last one and here is an important thing or so advice for you when you finish any part of the self nomination please click on save progress because it's a long applications and it will take time for you so each time you finish a part of it click on save progress Next is the subjects that you teach at the school. Which subject does you teach? If you are not a teacher, choose other. The next question, the, does your students have internet? Does your school have internet or not? Next, your students have internet at home or not? The last things, what type of devices or laptops that you use? That your students use they're having mobile phones does they have laptop they use tablet or they are sharing a device so they are sharing a laptop with each other's or with their uh, brother and sisters and this uh, part is very important because uh, it helps microsoft to know more about you if you are very active on social media or not so here you have to paste all your social media handles like your Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, YouTube channel, if you're having a blog, other anything links, and how many followers do you have on Twitter? So you have to type. Next questions is uh, the type of uh, uh, tools or devices that you use. If you are using Google Maps or Chrome or iPad, Microsoft Surfs, Microsoft Teams, Office 365, Zoom. So check only the things that you use it. It's a kind of survey only. Uh, next, the devices or the tools or the apps that your school use it. So you have to check it here too. Uh, this part is about your professional development. So if you are a certified educator for a certain educational platform or you are an ambassador for something, please check all of them here. If you can't find the platform here, click on other and the type what are you expert in it. Uh, next, if you got any badges on Microsoft Learn or not. I think all of us now are having badges on Microsoft Learn because of the migration between the two websites. 
another question here, your profile link from Microsoft Learn. How can you get it? I'll go back to Microsoft Learn now. This is uh, my profile picture. Click on settings. Here is your profile URL. So it's two parts here. This is the first one here. I'll copy it. If you want to make sure that your profile URL it's working and it will open with anyone, please open it in incognito window or from edge in private window. So I'll open it in incognito window. This is the first part. And the second part is here. I'll copy it. So your profile URL is two parts. This is a complete one. As you can see, when I open it in incognito window or in private window, it's opened correctly. So this is the correct way to do it. Don't you ever please to take it from here. If all of us just to copy it from here, it won't work. So please, this is the right way to get your profile uh, URL or your profile link from profile, choose settings, and take the, these two parts. This is the first part, and this is the second part. Next here is asking you the number of courses that you have to take on Microsoft Educator Learn or Educator Community. And here is asking you to download your transcript and upload it on OneDrive or Google Drive and paste the link here. So how can I do this part? I'm going to explain it right now. I will open my OneDrive, my personal one, to show it for you. From your OneDrive, click on Upload Files. I will upload my transcript. Open. Here's my transcript. Click on it and choose copy link. And instead of anyone can edit, make it just remove that check from here make it anyone with a link make sure it's anyone with a link can view so anyone with a link can view and copy it if you want to make sure that it works with anyone again in the incognito window open another tab and paste your link It's opening now, so this is the right way to upload your transcript and share it with Microsoft in the nomination. And you'll find the steps here again in this way. Here is another survey by Microsoft, how often that you use their apps. So are having here different apps like Microsoft Teams, OneNote, Class Notebook, uh, the way that you get in contact with your other colleagues or sharing your experience, how often you use your Flipgrid, Minecraft. So you say if you are using them daily, weekly, monthly, rarely, or you have never heard of them or used them before. Uh, by the way, this survey is not going to affect your nomination. Uh, another one is, to, is telling you about the STEM resources like uh, Make Code, Hacking STEM, and Microsoft Imagine Academy. And uh, here another survey about the features 
the new features of PowerPoint, like live presentation, recording, lessons. If you are converting your uh, PowerPoint into video, presenter coach, subtitles, embedding forms, or inking. Last survey here is about Microsoft Edge features like Immersive Reader, Reading Aloud. So if you're using any of these features, just check on them. And uh, we're having two questions about FlipGrad. Uh, I think Dr. Lee have explained the importance of FlipGrad before in this session. So how many virtual FlipGrad that you have attended on uh, FlipGrad in the last uh, six months, you just choose a number here and the number of uh, grid pals connections. So how can you get grid pal connections from Flipgrid? I'll show it now. So you go to Flipgrid. And click on your profile photo. Choose grid pals. Great Pals is a good way to get connected with other people all over the world for online sessions, for a collaboration between two classes. You have to do first thing is to make your account active. It's hidden. You cannot do this step. So make your profile active. You can choose uh, people from community by subjects or you can search by names. Now phase two. Phase two is an important one. Why? Because it's asking you questions related to Microsoft apps. There are marks on them. Uh, if you didn't get the right score, you will have you'll get an email telling you that you can resubmit your application for the second time. You can um, share your answers with other uh, colleague and ask them if they are right or wrong. It's a kind of collaborations and it's not considered cheating. If you want to discuss the answers with other colleagues to learn more about them. The question is mainly about the immersive reader, accessibility checkers, uh, teams, the forms. So they are very easy questions. And the last question here is about uh, the breakout rooms in teams. Phase three. Phase three will be reviewed by the local team of Microsoft in your own country. So if you are from Bangladesh, so it will be reviewed by Microsoft Bangladesh in your own country. Here in Egypt, it's reviewed by Microsoft Egypt and so on. Uh, it's more uh, personal questions still in, asking you mainly about your experience and the MIE expert, how do you share experience with other colleagues? So the first question here is about how do you uh, share your experience with your colleagues, uh, with the global MIE expert community all over the world? The second one, asking about the accessibility tools in Microsoft. Uh, if you want to know about the accessibility tools in Microsoft, I'll show you. Um, I'll show you them if you have no idea about it. Here, for example, I'll open this one, this file. This is supposed to be a Word file. So if I want to know where is the accessibility tools here, Familiar. Yeah. You will find them in review. You are having here something is called accessibility checkers. Why do you use them to make sure that people with different um, difficulties, maybe they're having a problem in their inside, they can't see well or they can't hear any kind of difficulties that your students are suffering from them, you use this accessibility checker to make sure that all your students can read your document or can you read your assignment. 
so I'll use it. So he's telling me that I have no issue in this work. So this is uh, accessibility checker here. Can use it in focus like this to make your student focus on their own items. It can read aloud for them. It has lots of things. And here is all the things that you can use it for the accessibility checker. Next is asking you about number of uh, units that you are using with your students or a project that you have integrated technology with your own students, especially using 21st century design skills. If you want to know about 21st century design skills, please go back to Microsoft Learn. And you will find here a course is called 21st Century Learning Design. It's very important one. By the way, they have changed lots of things when they uh, migrated to Microsoft Learn. You will um, learn from here how to integrate technology with your own students. So this is how do you have to uh, tell them about any project or any unit or anything that you're using technology with your own students to make the outcomes of the lessons better. Here is an important thing. He needs here uh, a link of a sway or a wakelet, could be a sway or wakelet or think link or anything to make sure that I have all the things that you have explained in the, this question. So in this way, you will tell them how did you integrate technology with your own students. You can put screenshots of teams, screenshots of forms, screenshot of uh, videos that you have posted on streams. Uh, if you are using reading your progress with your own students, a screenshot of your flip grad, any things you can you do it here, but please again make sure that your sway you share it anyone with a link. Okay, when you're sharing your screen uh, your sway with Microsoft, make sure the link is anyone with a link so Microsoft can open it. So in this way, you have to demonstrate or uh, present how your students are very active while you are using technology. It's very important uh, step to do it. Here are having another two questions to show how uh, the products of Microsoft make learning more uh, is vital or important in your learning. So I think while we're in COVID-19, we can't interact with other students without Microsoft Teams. So Microsoft Teams at this time was very important and up till now, uh, some schools are still uh, online. Uh, students doesn't go to school for different issues or problems. So Microsoft Teams could be the solutions for this. So we have it to explain like Microsoft Teams, reading your progress, the assignment, the forms, if they are uh, very important for your students to measure their own understanding or flip grid for empowering their own voice. Last question, you have to show two examples. How do you develop your own skills and how do you help other colleagues to develop their own skills? So it's about how do you help it yourself and help it others? And how this uh, you got a good result at the end for better teaching and learning for you and for your colleagues. If you finished all uh, things, check here that you accepted uh, to be uh, added to a Microsoft team with all MIE expert. If you uh, succeeded in the self nominations, you check this one. 
If you answered all the questions, click on save and submit. If you haven't finished all of them, click on save progress to go back to end again and finish them. So if you please, when you finish any part of your application, click on save progress. If you finish it all, click on save and submit. And you will get uh, at the end an email telling you that you have finished them and it will be reviewed by Microsoft. This will be the way for you uh, to nominate yourself for the first time. What if I have been an MIE expert last year? And in this case, all you have to do is only to renew your nomination. So renew your nomination for all educators that have been an MIE expert for the last year. So you will go to the nomination website. OK, and sign in on it. You will find here next to your name under self nomination. You find your name and next to it registered. All you have to do is to renew your own nomination. Please do it before the 7th of July. Renew it. OK. If you didn't renew it, you will be removed automatically from the MIE expert program. And after you renew it, you will find only six questions that you have to answer them. This question will be also reviewed by Microsoft Teams in your own country. Uh, all of them also about sharing your own experience to share experience with other colleagues at your school or the school leaders and the principals. The other one, which Microsoft tools uh, that you use it with your colleagues and your principals and your learners, mm. like Microsoft Teams and Microsoft Forms and so on. Uh, which mm. app does your colleagues think that you are expert in it? And share with them a story why this, uh, why your colleagues think you are expert in this tool. Last two questions. Tell uh, tell us a story about how do you support the MIE expert the last year, and how are you going to support the MIE expert community the next year? Uh, using three uh, three plans, so you should have three plans on how you are going to support the MIE expert for the next 12 months. And after you finish the sixth question, click on save and submit. Uh, that's I think that was all about the nomination. I have finished. I have finished. I can't hear you. your mic is mute. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Yeah, I can hear you now, yeah. OK, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And it be that. Mr. Abdul Salam, please continue. Yeah, Mr. Nanul Hussar, please open the floor. Is, is there any problem with the global? Uh, educators who are connected with us, they can ask the question to our guest speakers. Hi, can I ask a question? Yeah, definitely you can ask the question to our speaker. Okay, thank you so much. It was it is a wonderful session from Dr. Lee and Ms. Omnia. I am the fan of both of you. In fact, I follow all the progress, some um, causes and all that. Thank you so much for the organizing this wonderful session. My question is uh, to Miss Omnia. 
Um, I just want to find out regarding this edu track. Recently, I conducted a session, but then I was unable to uh, what do you call generate the uh, the code for the training session. So, do you mind telling um, what how to go about it? Because I did a few times, but I uh, I was unable to generate the code. But this time I noticed Dr. Lee, she had a code. So I'm just wondering how to go about it. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to share my screen with you now to tell you about this port. So first you go to Microsoft uh, Training Tracker here. Yes. Thank you. And I think if you have an account on it, click on sign in. This is the website for um, registering all, all your training. Okay. When you choose new training from here, choose a training from here. Of course, you have to follow in all uh, this data before. If you choose any one of these, click on it. So don't only check, no, click on it. It will be open here in Microsoft to learn. Click on request achievements code. Type the number of educators, then it will be 100, for example, request a code. You can copy the code or copy the URL. That's the way that you can do it for it. All right. Thank, thank you so much. It's clear now. No wonder I did so many times. Of, uh, it was unsuccessful the other day. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And here is the code, my code, if you want to redeem it for this. And please share your, share your assignment code so that our educators can note your code. Okay, ma'am, please. Okay, any other questions? Anyone have any question? Hello, dear educator. Have you any question about MI expert around the world? Can we have a big group photo? Uh, definitely, uh, we will take some shots. Shot. Uh, everyone, please open your camera. Everyone, uh, open your camera and you can sit your chair. Thank you. We have um, enjoyed a very interesting session. Uh, one standard from Malaysia and another from Egypt. They are very long distance. We are from Bangladesh and many countries uh, educator to join this session. We hope that it is very enjoyed because uh, in this year, Microsoft has uh, already moved um, their Microsoft Learn. And uh, uh, last year, and two years ago, uh, Skype in the classroom has uh, uh, moved. Day by day, include here new link and new um, subject and new uh, community system. We are uh, introduced all the apps and this uh, presentation. I am very happy to enjoy this session. Our two trainers, very interact, very uh, interactive, and their presentation, their speaking, and their 
all the side that very excellent thank you so much we have a wonderful session thank you okay mr abdul salam sir uh, thank you Any, any teacher? Okay. Uh, is, is there any problem? Any question uh, with our educators? You can ask the question. Otherwise, we will uh, finish our session because one of us uh, hello passed. So, if you have any hello. question, you can ask the question. Uh, we will try to answer sir. your question. And hopefully we will uh, arrange another session in the next month. Uh, so you can prepare yourself. Uh, Abdul Salam, sir, do you know my voice? Yes, sir. Please continue. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I am MD Wahidu Zaman Naim from uh, Bangladesh. I am MI expert 2021-2022. Uh, I have ongoing process the next uh, nomination submission 2022 and 2023. Uh, so to the join uh, well, guest trainer and all participants enjoy this session. Host uh, this program hosted uh, Nazmul Hasan sir and uh, Nazmul Hasan sir, uh, and uh, a special person Nazmul Hak, uh, Nazmul Hak and Abdul Salam sir. Thank you uh, for today uh, invite uh, this training session. Uh, I hope that uh, the next uh, uh, nomination process for the North Arabian language. So, uh, international using the all tenor and uh, pa participant follow this international language for the English. Uh, I have uh, do not clear this question. The all question uh, submission uh, Arabic language. So uh, this is not problem. But uh, I will try uh, the next uh, next time. Uh, uh, you have suggestion the tenor uh, using the international language for the English because the all of our uh, joined uh, to this event uh, in the internationally. So I have the using uh, the language for uh, internationally and. Uh, uh, so uh, enjoy this session. Thank you for everyone. Uh, the uh, every time Microsoft changing your uh, module, changing the education system and uh, innovation idea. So uh, uh, last two week ago, Microsoft Learn and I have joined the every MI expert uh, Microsoft Learn and MCE account and uh, uh, updating profile. So uh, next time uh, the old MI expert uh, joining uh, and the uh, uh, create new training tracker module. Uh, so uh, I hope uh, that uh, Nazmullah Sansar, uh, my all MI expert, how can how can create uh, new training tracker uh, and joining the student and participant training code? Uh, uh, it is the clear next time. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thanks for your available Nazmullah Sansar. Uh, actually, sir, uh, our honorable guest speaker also share with both languages, in Arabic and English. Uh, so it's no problem. I think we, we will uh, do better in, in our next session. We can also arrange the native language also. If we arrange the, uh, the in our country only for educators of our country so that we can use our native language. Otherwise, we can also use our international language. I think every, uh, everything is OK. And uh, hopefully, it was a wonderful, uh, wonderful session. And thanks to our honorable guest speakers, Dr. Lisa M from Malaysia, and uh, our another guest speakers, Omnia Ismail, al Said from Mal uh, Egypt. Uh, thanks both of them. And thanks all of all educators who are co uh, connected with us. Uh, the the uh, whole globe. Okay, Mr. Salam sir, are you hear me? Mr. Salam sir, uh, thank you so much, uh, you, all the educator. Okay, uh, anyone to hand rise to 
uh, open your camera and open your mic and say something. Who oh, was uh, arising? Please. Uh, Elenka, please. Yes. Uh, hello, everyone. Greetings from Croatia. <laughs> I uh, have a question about concerning Microsoft Learn. I uh, I haven't had time to study it uh, thoroughly. So uh, how can I uh, follow you on Microsoft Learn? Ma'am. Are you understood, ma'am? Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. OK, it's very easy to do it. All you have, you should have the link of uh, the persons that you want to uh, follow them. Either you type their name here. Or as I have shown it before, uh, you ask this person to get his profile URL from the setting. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, okay. so he's use URL. Mm -hmm. I have Which only here, here in here. incognito. Mm -hmm. So yes, after you sign in, you can start following them. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And this was a very useful uh, session. Uh, thank you all. Thank you uh, 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 for, for uh, Omnia and thank you, Lisa. Uh, I was enjoying your, your <laughs> session very much. And thank <laughs> A big thanks to our organizer as well. Thank you very much. It's our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all participants. Thank you. Thank you so much. If there are any questions, have no, we can finish. Please, uh, any one. Continue, our hand raising. 